So that's that one all packed up. Let's pop some little stickers on here. evening I am finally, 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 finally getting the eBay boxes ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. A lot of you have been asking for a long while because I've been talking about it for a long while. But I am finally ready and I think I know enough about eBay to get this stuff going now. So I am not unboxing anything evening I am boxing it. <laughs> These are the first two eBay beauty boxes that I'm putting up for auction on eBay. So as of when this video is out and probably a few days before, um, these are up for auction. So if you are in France, your shipping will be like five euros. <laughs> if you are for example, in the US or Canada or something, Australia, your shipping will probably be about 32 euros 85. Um, that's just what it costs to ship <laughs> this weight. Um, and anything in between will be priced in between. I think if you're in Europe, it's going to be like 13, 16, 18, something like that. one something, I don't know exactly, for each country, but I think that 32.85 in euros is the most expensive, and like 4 euros 90 is the cheapest. So depending on where you are in the world, that will be your shipping. Um, but otherwise, it's the same price for everyone, whatever you want to put in, it's an auction, so um, you can follow the links down below. I put in a French link because it is on the French site that I have my shop. But I also put a link for the US, so the .com, uh, ebay.com. That way it's in English so you can like find your way around. But if um, you are in a different country and you can't figure out how to change that or look it up, what you need to do is just go up to the address bar find where it says .fr or .com, delete that and replace it with um, .co.uk or .de or wherever, whatever your um, code is. Don't change anything else in the address bar, just change the com or the fr into what your is and it should just bring you to your specific country's ebay with the actual post. So yeah, I think that should make it accessible for everyone. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to box <laughs> these up, talking a little bit about each thing and what I put in and stuff like that, but not like a... Uh, there's a lot of stuff and there are two boxes, so it, this would be an extremely So, um, I think I'll do this one first, and then this one. Let's have a look at what I'm going to be putting in this box. So first of all, you might recognize the box. This is actually a box I got twice. Um, it's from Glossy Box, and I'm just going to use the box that Glossy Box sent me in, so that's perfect for shipping. And then inside you have the little mirror. little ring light. Um, so it just says, you are beautiful, vous êtes magnifique, and then other languages, which I won't embarrass myself by trying to pronounce. Um, this is the second one I received, so it still actually has the little plastic cover on the mirror, so it's super cute and new. <laughs> um, I will be 
popping in some tissue paper and squiggly worms in here. The tissue paper I'm using is this black tissue paper and the reason being is because it's one of the tissue papers that I have still like a full size one off. So that's gonna go in there nicely. So you can see that's a pretty snug in there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be actually putting the products in during this video because it might make a lot of noise, but we'll see, we'll try. And for the squirmy worms, I have this full shopping bag full of squirmy worms that I've been putting aside from all the boxes this year. This bag is so full. So I guess I'll just take a little from a few different colours maybe. I'll start with a few little squirmy worms first and then I'll put the products in. Some light blue squirmy worms. There. <laughs> Some pink. some blue and green, some more pink. We have some light blue there too. Oh, I think that should do it. I think we'll be able to nestle everything in there nicely. Okay, I'm starting with I figured I would put a little bit of everything in these first two boxes. I don't know if the next boxes will be like more themed or I'll just stick with the a little bit of everything in there. So I started with the Pixie by Petra Brow Tamer and this is in the colour translucent or in the lack of use this but I do use this type of product. It still has a little extra packaging. I'll just keep it in there. <laughs> then I popped a little nail polish. It's an NCLA um, 7 Free Luxury Nail Lacquer and this is in Fresh Linen. Nice clean white. I don't know if it's like um, like a white that is a little translucent, just to give your nails that like clean polished look, but a bit sheer, you know. I feel like it's probably that. I haven't tried it. Of course, everything is sealed and unused. Obviously, polishes aren't really sealed, sealed, but, I mean, you can just take my word for it. I didn't use it. So that's number two. Number three, onto a little bit of skincare. We have this little cryo depuffing eye mask from 111 Skin. Um, somebody commented, that the 111 is about the Harley Street, London. That's like the address of their laboratories. So that makes sense. So yeah, some cryo debuffing for your eyes. So that would be nice. And then something else. LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's an anti wrinkle day cream, anti aging, um, defined by nature, led by science. Reduce the appearance of wrinkles, improve skin firming, firmness, and hydration. Um, I think LMS is a pretty nice brand. I know it's nice price wise. <laughs> It's like a little up there, 
but I've heard good things. I used their face wash, which you can actually use. It's like a cream that you can use as a mask, and sometimes I do use it as a mask in the shower. And that's really good, so I imagine this is really good. I shared a photo of um, the boxes, and somebody said, oh, the Elemis. <laughs> so I think it's well there. Next, a little hand care in one of these kind of aluminium, I was thinking medical, like a medical cream, you know, one of these kind of packages. I think they're pretty good for the environment too. Well, better for the environment than the plastic. So this is Symbios from ANSI, which is in the south east of France and it's a hand cream with glacier water so that should be a nice organic hand cream I don't know how it smells though because as with the other products So no leaking <laughs> in the delivery. I popped in this, which is a Rituals foaming body wash. What do you call it? Like a body foam, shower foam. Ritual of Karma, shower foam full of Do good and good will come your way. Holy Lotus and White Tea. This is probably one of the least offensive scents from Rituals, in my opinion. But the cherry one's not so bad. Um, but they're just too strong for me, so this is perfect for one of these boxes. It's not a full size, but it lasts quite a while. And then I popped in this shampoo from Nukes. Um, I've never tried this, but I do enjoy Nukes products. Body shoe. It's like the, the oil that I really like, the body oil. And this should have the same scent then. Or is it just like the same range of products? I don't know. But if it has the same scent. So yeah, this is a high shine shampoo with fermented pink camellia oil. It's always all pink. It's very pretty anyway. So yeah, I popped that in there. And then we have something else for the hair. We are Paradox, which is again in that kind of like This is a Repair Game Changer hair mask. I've not used this exact product, but I think it's probably similar to the one that I have used. Just in the same packaging, and it is a three-in-one, like, mask and conditioner and stuff. I've used it just as a conditioner. And then one last product for the hair. Um, this I have not used on my own hair, but I do use this and similar products for my daughter's hair. St. Moroccan Oil All-in-One Leave-In Conditioner. This is great if you have tangly hair. It's just like, um, like a detangling spray, I would call it, but I mean, if you're more into hair care, you probably know more about that than me. <laughs> but I use this in my daughter's hair. oil for your hair and then on to some accessories I just threw in a little mini handbag mirror you know a little mirror you can pop into your purse the little I think would you call them like a button mirror I'm not really sure just a little one like that and it's from Glo 
Bubble scrunchie, which when I actually unboxed this, I didn't realize it was actually called a scrunchie. Did anybody else realize that? Because it's like a spring coil thing inside the scrunchie. A scrunchie. You can see it here. Like I knew that was in there, but I didn't know that they changed the name to a scrunchie. <laughs> but I think it's pretty. And then the last thing, which was something I didn't necessarily plan on doing, um, it just kind of, I was just like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll pop something else in, a little extra. Um, I have, you've probably noticed from all the unboxings, I have a little um, overflow of jewellery, let's say, um, just because I love jewellery and I am partnered with a few different brands here and there, especially Hey Happiness. Um, and I've bought a few rings <laughs> in my time <laughs> and I can't use them all. Um, and I decided to pop a little piece of jewellery in both of these boxes. Um, I was going to put earrings in both and then I thought, oh maybe, you know, somebody doesn't like earrings or something. I don't know. I didn't have my ears pierced until like this year, so um, I figured somebody else might be the same, so I popped a little ring in here, and it is one of the Wanderlust rings that I got. You might recognize it from a few videos. I've worn it in a few. Um, I have this one and the navy blue, so the exact same ring, but in like the enamel part is navy blue instead of of lighter blue and then I have a similar ring which has like a cream enamel with the phases of the moon on it um, and this one says tell your story W and Co it's got that engraved inside and then we have a little crescent moon I don't know the camera's not focusing great on it let's see if we can do a little better hmm about there Anyway, you can see it well in the photos. We have the stars and then the enamel coming around to the stars and the moon. It's pretty cute. And it is a US size 6, which for me is a pink ring. <laughs> so this is the ring. And the reason I popped this one is just because I have two of them. <laughs> and my other um, Wanderlust rings. I have some with this um, colored enamel, so I decided to keep the navy one and then pop this one in here. So yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to put jewelry in all of the boxes, but I will certainly try. this up a little bit or get the squirmy worms a little in between things to protect things and then um, close it up. So I had to add a few more squirmy worms. Doesn't that look so cute, all the colours? <laughs> and I had to turn the tissue paper around as well so that it would actually close. <laughs> and there we go. Just close this there. And then we have this bar. And you're probably thinking, that doesn't look very professional, Jen. And I agree. But I have a secret. <laughs> Something that I'm going to use to make it look a little more professional. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I got little thank you stickers. <laughs> I doubt it's going to make it look super professional, but it will close this tissue paper. Um, and make it look a little neat. Um, obviously, depending on who buys it, I'll pop a little note in to that specific person. I don't want to like put a note in and then like so 
I don't know, like, I wanted to put your name on it, you know? <laughs> okay. Yay! I'll need to put two in, though. Go. There we go. It's not perfect. like pastels and blues that come in these boxes so much work so nicely I put a little extra a little more than last time in there because I did I'm starting again with some makeup, also from Pixie, and this is the Blush Duo, and it, I think it's Peach, yeah, Peach Honey. This is the Blush Duo that I actually have as well. It's a little highlighty, you know, one side's a bit highlighty and one's a bit blush-like. Very cute. I think I actually got this in a very recent box, like last month. And it's still all sealed up. Nice and ready to go out. <laughs> and the polish in this box is this Manucurist green polish. And I think it's in rose, yeah, rose bois de rose, which is like rosewood dry, intense colour. This is a very, like, everyday colour. I think it suits everybody. Definitely. It's the kind of colour that suits everybody on the nails and the lips. So this is vegan, plant-based, made in France. some skincare. I have this limited edition Bright Me Up Serum from London Botanical Laboratories. I actually almost opened this for myself because it just sounds amazing. <laughs> Very like sunshiny and nice on the skin. Um, Serum with pineapple extract, vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid. Of course, hyaluronic acid. Hydrate and glow. But I did not open it. I resisted because I have so many serums I need to use. Up. So yeah, it's still sealed. If you watch my videos already, you know they're all sealed. I don't need to show you, but yeah. No. It's got that matte packaging. Sign of quality. I do love the sound of that stuff though. The nice matte packaging. 
And then again for the face, I popped in a little face mask. Um, this one I actually have used before. I have this one myself. This is Amy. Don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Terre Magnifique Radiance. Detoxifying Radiance Face Mask. And with extract of um, a shield. I have no idea what that is. A C H I O T. rejuvenating aloe vera and cream. Does anybody know this brand? Warda. Helps soothe and moisturize hands. I should hope so for a hand cream. And since we're getting into winter, almost at the end, This might be the only one, a solid product, guys. Da -da. <laughs> and this is the Grom one. Um, I got this like only last month as well, but I figured since it's a nice solid product, it's no way to leak. <laughs> and like hygiene-wise, it already comes like this, so I figure this is considered sealed. Sweet Rose Body Wash Bar, Creamy and Caring Body Wash Bar, made with rose geranium essential oils to produce an amazing sweet rose aroma. Yeah, she smells really nice. shampoo and it says best used with the conditioner and you're like yeah but I don't have it. <laughs> well here you have both. No oh, shampoo and conditioner. I like We Are Paradox. Um, I like the packaging. <laughs> I like the colors of the product and I actually like This Percy and Reed Tame That Main Frizz Fixer Spray. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> so, yeah, this little Frizz Fixer Spray. I'm guessing a lot of people can get you out. Box. I put this little pocket mirror. I think I'm gonna call it a pocket mirror. Pocket 
mirror, handbag mirror, button mirror. <laughs> and it says, Pont la It's a little mirror. It's a little bigger than the other one. This one's a my little box one. It's cute. It doesn't have a little protection around. And also my little box, we have this cute little waffle headband. Cute. I like the color. Um, it's like when they did like a Caudalie box. Caudalie is like a brand of skincare. Pretty nice one. And it has a Velcro front with a little. A headband for all your skincare. <laughs> you can pop it on when you're using um, the face mask. Okay, and that is everything for the beauty box products and accessories. And this is a piece of jewelry that I added to this box. And this one actually is a Hey Happiness one which I think most boxes will be. And here we have the little braided hoops. So I don't know if anybody noticed that I got these braided hoops the last time I collabed with them and the time before. I accidentally got the same earrings <laughs> twice. That means I love them. <laughs> I do actually really like them. But like, um, yeah, I actually was like, oh, I think I have similar ones to this I got and everything. I was like, yeah, literally a month ago, Jen. <laughs> but that is fine because I have a lot of beauty-interested friends <laughs> from this channel. So these will keep going into that box. I don't know how well I'll be able to show you, but they are 95, so they're sterling. And they are gold plated. They're really nice. And we'll have matching ones, guys. Oh, that's, I just thought about that. For the ring in the other box, we'll have matching rings, just different colours. And in this box, we'll have matching earrings. <laughs> They're cool. I'm just putting them in these little plastic um, bags because I feel like that's the best way to keep them from oxidising or you know, getting contaminated or something, I don't know. just feels not like they're safe in here. So yeah, that's everything for the second box. Let's have a look at it all together. This one is like a little fuller seeming. I think it weighs a little more. <laughs> um, same amount of products, same price-ish, I think and same sort of types of products and stuff in both. I tried to make it as even as possible. I think this just weighs a bit more because of the, you know, like the solid bar and things like that. So, let me just arrange this a little better in here so we can close it all up nicely.